The Owl House is a show with plenty of mystery and secrets, and while a lot of this revolves around Ida, the Owl Lady, one of the biggest questions that I have is what is King's story? Out of the cast we have been introduced to so far, King's backstory is the most sparse. Though he claims to be the King of Demons, the validity of that is definitely questionable. But what really piqued my interest with King is this moment here from Covention. Show me the picture! Ha! <laughs> I can draw better than that! You know, they once called me the King of Artists. Wait, I thought you were the King of Demons. Are you just making this up now? Doesn't matter. King's facial expression and the musical cue that plays here make the possibility of him being the King of Artists more likely. So I thought to do a quick video looking into this likelihood. The biggest piece of evidence for this being true is that King has been shown to enjoy drawing. In The Intruder, we see how he likes to draw pictures of demons and will even reference demon books to try and draw them especially from this moment here. It makes it seem like King is trying to improve on his art skills and is pleased with his progress. <laughs> Additionally, while King does have some knowledge about demons, it's not always accurate as we see with the Snaggleback. King's claim that he is the King of Demons has always been questionable even since the first episode, but this really drives that point even further. Now looking at Covention, we see that King takes an immediate interest in seeing Luce's drawing. He also claims that he can draw better than Luce, so this seems like this is something that King prides himself on. Based on King's interest in drawing that we have seen so far in the show, I could definitely see him being an artist. But a king of artists? Maybe not. But the last thing I want to bring up is King's collar. It's never been addressed in the show, but King's collar implies that he was a pet to somebody at one point. And I don't believe it's Ida, because when we first meet King, she refers to him as her roommate, and later in Witches Before Wizards, she remarks that King works for her. Actually, I have a roommate. Who dares intrude upon I, the King of Demons? And because you work for me too, unless you want to start paying rent. So based on how Ida addresses King, I don't think it's her. What I do think would be interesting is if King's previous owner, who gave him the collar, was an artist and that interest for the arts got passed on to King. It's an interesting thought and not one that may be the most likely, but I can't wait to know more about King's past. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and until next time, take care.